morning it's thursday the 21st of september i think and i thought it would be a nice day to do a little vlog i'm not doing anything exciting there's rufus out for his morning pee and i just yeah i just thought i would take you along in my day i'm going to be doing some dyeing and i'm also going to be edit in my renovation vlog so you should see that soon and hopefully i'll do a little bit of knitting um we'll see how it goes um i'll just show you um well you'll have already seen by now what the studio looks like but i'll show you a little snippet and say hello to rufus here i suppose i should say what i'm wearing here this is the spearheads jumper by jared flood knit it in aloe sloopy um, by Anna of Lana Trico who gave it to me which is so nice I've had this for a few years now and we haven't turned the heating on in the house and it's getting very cold so I thought this is the perfect morning to wear this um, yeah anyway I was going to show you the studio and the purpose <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I'm building a oh, River Scenic Cat. I'm building a new dye studio, which is what this is. And um, we don't have a contractor. We're doing it all kind of ourselves and with the help of friends. So this is what it looks like right now. We're just putting in the insulation. My dad's been helping with that, and Timmy's dad has been helping with that. Next stage is the roof. The roofers were supposed to turn up this week, but they haven't yet. So hopefully they turn up soon. Um, so yeah, that is the stage we're at with that. Go and find Rufus now. He's disappeared again. Rufus! Rufus! Rufus, come here! Hello! This is how the garden looks right now. Not, not very well cared for, I have to say. Um, my friend gave me some of these huge bamboos from his garden. They're really, really big. The only thing that's looking really nice in the garden, apart from the roses now, is the Rebecca, although this one's kind of eaten, but it's quite a nice plant at this time of the year. And further on down here, the roses have taken a second bloom which is so nice and I think this is I'm not sure what this is called I thought it was Actia but I don't think it is now but look at that these are all coming out again which is so nice the cosmos I haven't deadheaded it in a long time so I need to do that because it'll probably last a good, good bit longer and round here, the agapanthus has gone over. Nearly everything's gone over apart from the grasses there, which look really nice, actually. The verbena is still out. I planted that from seed, actually. I have got a lot of deadheading to do. I really need to get out here and make some time for the garden. But it is looking nice. even though I haven't done anything. I actually cast on a new knitting project a couple of days ago that I would like to show you. It's a pair of socks um, in my horse sock. So I'll show you what I'm doing with that. The progress is good because I'm holding it double so it goes so fast. It's amazing. I haven't knitted a pair of socks in a long time now, so I'm quite enjoying it. All the leaves are starting to fall down everywhere. The tomatoes, there's still quite a lot left actually. Today it is six degrees in the greenhouse. Need to strip all the leaves off these and give them a last water. So the last fruits ripen. And the artichokes are looking good. Look at the size of that flower. And all the kale looks good for winter. 
I'm thinking of taking out all these strawberries because they're they're too congested and they've been in there too long and I was thinking of planting something else in there. I had an idea yesterday what I was gonna plant but I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember what now. It was something edible anyway, so I'll let you know back on that what my plan is for next year. And uh yeah, it's a lovely morning here. It's been raining a lot recently. Very, very heavy rain. And um, hopefully it stays dry for a little while. It's really, really nice. I love a nice, crisp, dry autumn day. Just so nice. Okay, catch up with you later. Just outside a bargain supermarket here. Wearing my new hat. This is the Stockholm hat by Petite Knit and I use Marina Skew's Mend It Four Ply for it. Tell you more about that in a podcast episode soon. <laughs> Bit of chat about it. So what did you get in Lidl? I have one butter croissant. A butter croissant? And uh, 50 Assam tea bags. And 50 Assam tea bags. Half needed. Happy days, we need the caffeine. yesterday they are Christmas colorways which uh, I have been having so much fun dyeing these up it's just it's my happy place it's just yeah get to do just experiment and do loads of fun stuff so I spent today rinsing them and now I'm gonna hang them up and yeah it takes quite a long time to hang them but um, they should be dry by tomorrow hopefully Although this house is quite cold, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. So we, I'm just going to hang them up and you can watch me. <laughs> I have just finished my all my dyeing. It went very smoothly today. Now we're going to have some lunch and I'm going to weave in the ends of this little um, jumper that I knitted for my little girl. Um, I've actually blocked it already. I just need to cut off and weave in the final ends. Hopefully it fits her. When I um, tried it on, the neck was too tight. So yeah. I don't know, I didn't want to try it on until it was completely dry as well. So we'll see how that goes. Do any of you recognize that? Alex Collins? 
Um, this is Alex Collins' beautiful calendar she sent me last year, I think it was. Or, well, no. Yeah, maybe, yeah, last year. I'll show it to you. I've just spent most of the day or this afternoon editing videos. I'm about to drop my parcels at the sorting office and um, now when I get back I'm going to do a little bit of knitting work. So well it's not really work as it? it's play <laughs> but by work I mean I have to weave in those ends. <laughs> so um, yeah I'll show you my socks that I'm knitting too. I got my cup of nice Assam tea and I am going to grab this little jumper and just weave in these ends and snip off any tails. And then I am going to show you my socks like I've been saying all day. Um, I'm so bad for doing that. I've got my scissors because I never know where my small scissors are for cutting tails off. Deals of yarn, that is. <laughs> I'm just on my way to do the nursery pickup. My preference is to go by bike. Um, it's not it's not far, but it's a really nice start slash end to the day. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. I think it'll be a podcast, so stay tuned for that. Bye.
in from the morning walk and I realized that I never recorded my socks that I knitted. So I thought I'd just grab them and show you before I start editing this vlog. So I finished one sock. Um, it didn't take long to knit um, because it's double knit and weight. Um, I held together two strands of the harsh sock and I'll show you how I did that now because I've already started the second one. So basically, I'm sure you'll all have worked this out, but take a strand from the outside of the cake and then a strand from the inside of the cake and just hold them together. And I'll be able to get a pair of socks out of this quite easily. Um, doing it this because I can get a pair of socks out of 50 grams if I hold it singly. Um, this is the toe colour and this is the heel colour. So I, I said this is my heart sock, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. And some of you were asking for my recipe for this. So I cast on 44 stitches for this. Um, I'll not tell you the whole recipe now, but basically you do the heel flap and gusset. And then I knit. Um, I actually don't start the toe until after the green part reaches my like the end of my toe. And then I start knitting the toe because you need to leave um, about a centimetre and a half for felting in um, non super wash 100% wool socks. So that's what I always do so that when they felt then they're the right size. I did a three by one rib and I was wearing these around the house all day yesterday. And oh my goodness, my right foot was so much warmer than my left foot. I was wearing tights and then this sock on top was so good. And these actually fit below most of the shoes that I would wear. So I wear these waterproof boots. So they fit below those and they also fit below my Birkenstocks. So yeah. I'm really pleased with how these turned out and I've started the second sock. And I'm using 2.75 millimeter needles and I'll check the gauge for my next podcast episode. I should have done that already, naughty naughty. But it does feel tight when I'm knitting on it. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be knitting a few pairs of these um, this autumn and winter just because they're so thick and cosy and they just work up really quickly. And um, yeah, so I do sell double sock sets, which is what I call this, which is 140 grams in total in the shop to knit these with. So you've got plenty of yarn in the sock set. But yeah, I'm going to be doing up different colours of them. I don't have this exact one in the shop, but I do have different ones. But if you really like this, I can make I can make a sock set of this for you if you'd like. So yeah, I'm just, um, I'm going to finally end this vlog here and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, my shop will have been updated on the 27th of September. So I'm not sure if this is going out before or after that, but um, there's still a few advent calendars left, not a whole ton, to be honest. Um, and yeah, there's going to be some really nice goodies in the shop update. So do have a look if you're um, in the market for this type of thing. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye. Thank you.